Hey everyone, Kez here. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I know I'm doing pretty good. Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by USA Today. This is a recent publication of USA Today. In fact, it's dated 328, 2019. It just came out uh, a few days ago. On the front here, it says war, famine, and drought. And this article is really unique. And, and what it's about is, it's an article about women who have decided not to have children due to climate change. I found the article relatively interesting. Um, I would really like to talk to these ladies and just find out, you know, the whole basis of their information. I read the article and I also read the article online and I've taken some notes. And the whole gist of the thing is that climate change has brought these women to openly choose not to have children, which I find that kind of amazing, honestly. It, it, it kind of, I find it amazing like in a good way and in a bad way. There's a lady named Laura, and I'm, I'm not even going to try to attempt her last name. There's a lady named Laura that's part of this group. And in fact, I, I do believe she's one of the, the, the people that started this particular Facebook group. And they claim that climate change could make the earth uninhabitable. And I find, I, I, I find that unique... Um, I would love to hear their their perspective on why they think that. Uh, I just wonder what direction that, that they're going in, really. Uh, the, the Facebook group that they have is called Birth Strike. And they openly discuss the question, is the future too horrific to bring children into this world? And I find that just, uh, just, I think that's pretty far out there. I mean, is, I mean, is climate change even real? And, and I mean, what is it? Is it climate change? Is it global warming? Is it global cooling? Uh, you know, what is it? You know, and, and, is, and is it even real? Is it even real? Does it even exist? That's another question that, that, that you really have to ask. Uh, it's, is it just a hoax? This group, uh, Birth Strike, um, the group is growing very steadily from what, what they report. And it's in Europe and USA. It's in the United States. And, and I'm, I'm sure by now that there's some people that are from Canada in this group. I, I can't say 100%, but I'm sure there are probably some... Canadian citizens that are in the group as well. They base their findings on this with climate change on how tornadoes and hurricanes and such have have intensified, how weather patterns have intensified over the years, how tornadoes and hurricanes have become more destructive and more violent and have done more destruction over recent years. And they, they openly talk about this and the fear of this. And and I, I just find that amazing. I really do. Um, I, I kind of see I, I kind of see both sides of the coin here. You know, it, it's amazing. Like, wow, that's, that's crazy. And then I see, well, you know, is it really crazy? You know, I, I, I can see both sides of this. Very interesting. Um. Because of climate change, these women have asked the question about the whole idea of having babies. Some have decided they're not going to do it because they have this vision of just, you know, turmoil and destruction and, and all these things that are going wrong in the future here on Earth. Um, however, what I find interesting is that some of these people have actually adopted children or in the process of adopting babies and children 
But that that makes me that makes me ask the question: What's the difference if you have your own baby versus adopting a baby? You're still bringing a baby into the world, aren't you? You're still raising that baby, even though it's it's not your baby per se. You're not the biological parents per se, but you're still bringing a baby into this. So what's the difference? So the article goes on and it, and it continues on by saying that um, there was a poll that was taken. Now, whether the poll was by USA Today or by this group, I can't say for sure. I don't recall what the answer of that is, but they did a poll nonetheless. And it said that 66% of all the women that were polled are very concerned about climate change. And only 51% of all the men that were polled have a serious thought about climate change. I find that rather interesting. Um, like, like I said, I, I you know, have they even taken into consideration that the possibilities of heart and geoengineering and man-made weather and chemtrails and all these things that man has created to manipulate the weather have they taken any of this into consideration? Have they taken any of this into consideration that climate change and global warming could be a hoax altogether? I find it very, very fascinating. Very, very fascinating. Anyway, the article was in the USA Today, dated 3-28-2019. The link will be below. I found it online, and I will link it to the video as well. Read it. Check it out. Read this. It's it's a good read. Um, it makes you think, definitely. I don't know if they're right. I don't know if they're wrong. Um, is there right? Is there a right or is there a wrong? I, I don't really know. But um, I, I just found it interesting. I really did. I found it interesting. Check it out. Links below. Have a good one.